G'day, Steve Liddell with you from Street Science. Now, I've been asked to put together an activity that teachers can do inside their own classrooms with their students. So I looked outside and I saw a bit of cloudy weather today. So I thought, how about I show you guys how to make one of my favorite little setups, a cloud in a bottle. Before I show you the step-by-step -step on how to make your equipment and then run the activity with your students, let's have a look at this. I've got a flask bubbling away with a bit of liquid nitrogen in there. You'll notice the cloud that's coming out is nice and thick and white in color. Now that cloud, even though I've dropped a bit of liquid nitrogen into my nice blue water, that cloud that you can see is not made from nitrogen. It's actually made from little tiny particles of water. In fact, most of them are frozen. So they're little crystals of ice. You'll notice how dense they are, so they're falling down. Now we can make clouds just like the ones we see up in the sky. And we can do it with some pretty basic equipment. Here's what you need. Start off, you're gonna need a bottle. I use a Maximus bottle or a large Gatorade or Powerade bottle. Notice the nice big mouth on the top. That's going to be important. And I want something that's quite large, so it's really visible for our students. And I want it to be pretty tough. Next thing I need, either some water or to make your clouds extra thick and extra visual, which is really important for our students. We can use a little bit of methylated spirits. So a bit of metho. I'll tuck that aside and I'll tell you why I use metho instead of water. We're then gonna need something to get that water or metho into my bottle. I've got a pipette and we're gonna need a pump. Now this is just a normal foot pump that I picked up from uh, Super Cheap Auto, I think is where I got this one. On the end of my pump, have a look at this. I've got a very special piece of equipment once again gone to Super Cheap Auto or one of those uh, car shops. And I've got myself, can you see this black thing? I've got a valve. Now that valve goes inside a tire. So you can pick them up. I think you get about three of them for five bucks. And I've run that valve straight through a stopper. So I just got myself a rubber stopper. You guys can use a cork if you want to. I drilled a hole through it. Notice I didn't do it very straight. That doesn't matter. And I've jammed that little valve straight through it. I then go and connect the valve to my pump, which is going to enable me to put the stopper on the top of this bottle, hold a lid on it, and then pressurize it, which is how we're gonna form our clouds. All right, so this is how we get started. We get our equipment. Now you can set these up fine for your students to use. I always wear safety glasses or I give my students safety glasses to wear because every now and then when we're pressurizing it, the lid can come flying off and we don't want it to whack someone in the eye. You can do it without glasses, but I always uh, go for safety first. All right, I've got a bottle and I wanna form a cloud. So lots of particles that have condensed and come together. So I need something in there to start with. You can use about five mils or a teaspoon of water, or you can use metho, like I said before. The reason I use metho is because it's alcohol. It's made from ethanol and which means it evaporates really quickly. Metho in a bottle, in its liquid form. I then place my stopper on the top and I increase the pressure. Now, as soon as I start increasing the pressure inside my bottle, what happens is it changes the temperature of the air in there. As the pressure increases, the temperature increases as well. As the temperature increases, that liquid that I've squirted in there starts to evaporate and change from a liquid into a gas. All right, let's pump it up and see. Whoop. Hold it on nice and tight, don't let it slip. Whoop. There we go, all right. Now, I'm holding this lid on tight. So I've increased the pressure, the liquid has evaporated and turned into a gas. If I take the lid off, the pressure will drop. And as the pressure drops, those particles that are floating around all of a sudden come together and condense into that cloud we're talking about. You ready? Three, two, one. There's our cloud. Beautiful. 
Now if I put the lid back on and I increase the pressure, those particles that have just joined together, all of a sudden get pushed apart again. So high pressure, no cloud, low pressure, nice thick cloud. Let's pump it up. So if we're teaching about states of matter, this is great. If we're teaching about pressure and forces, this is a great activity as well. But if you guys are teaching about weather patterns, this is perfect. At the moment, notice how there's no cloud in my bottle. That's because there's high pressure. When we're watching the weather report on the news, when you see the little H rolling down the east coast of Australia, that high pressure system creates clear skies. When we get the little L, that means a low pressure system's rolling by. Ready? Let's create low pressure. <laughs> creates cloudy weather. What a great way to teach some really straightforward concepts, but to make it visual. And with some really basic material, you can use a hand pump instead of a foot pump to save money. A couple of bucks for some stoppers that you can buy online and some valves, plus a little bottle that you're gonna have around the house anyway. You guys can teach all about weather, your states of matter, um, and forces and pressure really, really easily. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you want some more information on how to make clouds in a bottle, plus also clouds in a jar, by evaporating and condensing water particles. We've got a heap of downloads on the Street Science website. Just go to streetscience.com.au. I'm pretty sure Street Science has probably come out to your school before, so you know what we're all about. But if you want more information about what we do, get on the website, have a little look. Hope you've enjoyed our little lesson, making a cloud in a bottle. I'm Steve Liddell from Street Science. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. See ya.